Hey everybody, this is Dan. I'm here with Brittany. We're just wrapping up a week in Cannes. Uh, Brittany, it's your first time here in Cannes. Yeah. Uh, mine also. A lot of things happened. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, first of all, I met my one of my YouTube celebrities. Who uh, is that? I, I met Casey Neistat here. Huh. I totally rudely interrupted his dinner with uh, another famous YouTuber I didn't even recognize. <laughs> and asked for a selfie. It was shameless, but <laughs> that's what happens in Cannes, right? I've seen a lot of celebrities, actually. I saw Gwyneth Paltrow twice in one day. Yeah, I felt like I met with her. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Proximity, right? Yeah. You met with her by proximity. Um, so one of the things that we were noticing a lot, uh, everyone here is talking about diversity and inclusion. Mm. And I think the industry here is really coming to terms with some of their shortcomings on this issue. Yeah. So tell me about some of the stuff that you got up to. Yeah, well, I, actually my favorite events were kind of the fringe events, like away from the Palais. So an example was yesterday I went to the Vows event, which is the first one ever. It's a showcase of the best short films and ads by women. So I saw some really great work uh, by directors like MJ Delaney and maybe some more well-known ones like Vicki McGuire at Grey, um, her m and ad. Um, so that was really inspiring because I think why people originally wanted to come to Cannes was to see new talent and inspiring work work and so that was my favorite part of it. Yeah and I we actually did a video interview with mm. uh, Laura Jordan uh, Bombach who's, yeah. who's one of the curators and, and mm. people behind that so that was really cool. The Vows are uh, a screening of the very best work made by women in the last 12 months so short films and advertising and branded content so it's not just women making films about women it is, you know, making films about all sorts of things. There's some horror in there. There's, you know, some really amazing dramas. And there's also just some absolutely brilliant advertising. The, one of the things that caught my eye on Sunday, there's uh, four creative directors from America, African-American guys. Mm -hmm. They created something called Saturday Morning, which sort of the last straw for them was last year. You know, you keep hearing about these shootings of young black men by police, and the police yeah. are, are not even convicted of, of these um, shooting incidents. So they got together and they kind of came up with an idea to use creativity to solve some of these issues. When you apply the ability to move someone with a just cause, you have created a movement. We can do that. The most powerful creative minds in the world are here at this conference. Some of them are in this room. You have the ability. So Saturday morning they've got a what they're calling a peace brief where they're going to basically address police violence throughout the year by asking creatives to come collaborate with them and, yeah. and use their creativity to solve these issues. Um, we're asking people to submit ideas to that website. We take those ideas and we curate them, right? So we choose basically which ideas are most creative, most interesting, or saying something that will, people will respond to. And those things are uh, put up as a showcase on the site. So we have a few pieces up now. Um, we're just kind of getting our engine going. Uh, and we're asking universities, we're asking individuals, and we're asking businesses to contribute. Yeah. Um, someone I met who I really enjoyed meeting, I just kind of accidentally met her at a dinner and then ended up seeing her speak the next day. But uh, she's a comedian named Maisoon Zaid. Right, sure. Um, she has cerebral palsy, right. and so she talks a lot about uh, disability. And her speech was really inspiring. It got the crowd, um, I think it was very moving because she was talking about how there's, you know, disabilities you can see, but also invisible disabilities. And uh, she just encouraged people to use their voices and speak up for, you know, women or just equality in all places. And at Cannes especially, it's a good uh, reminder because this place isn't very accessible. And she talked about how she wasn't able to get into certain events because of her disability. So it's kind of a wake-up call for the industry. Sure, sure. And I think just the last thing we're going to find out tonight but uh, Jonathan Mildenhall, who mm. is the CMO of Airbnb, is very vocal before can lines about the diver diversity, excuse me, of the judging. I was very disappointed about the lack of um, ethnic diversity at Cannes last year. And so there have been a number of tweets that I've put out that challenge Canline about some of the decisions that they might make about the ethnicity um, mix of the speaker lineup, the presidents or the juries. Yeah. And um, he had challenged the Can Lions to kind of come out with more black faces on their jury pools mm. and uh, he's putting his money where his mouth is because he's come here to Cannes now and he's running a recruitment dinner tonight which we'll be at filming. Yeah. Um, we're going to have some coverage of that later uh, post Cannes once we know the result of, of that dinner mm. but it should be pretty interesting and, and nice to see people taking action to actually move the bar and rather mm. than just talking about these things. Yeah that sounds great. It was a really amazing week. A lot of 
interesting content, little inter interesting uh, connections happen, and we'll see you next year.